Hey guys, what's up? This is Swear For You, and I'm playing Fallout 76. Um, today we're going to look at how to slash your stash. Uh, one of the issues that everyone has complained about with this game is that the stash size is too small. We're not going to get into that debate today. I will say that I tend to agree that it needs to be increased or something needs to be done. But, if you're like me, you love the game and it's something we're going to have to deal with until it's fixed. So, uh, we're going to look at uh, two things. We're going to look at things that actually just straight up reduce the weight in your stash without sacrificing anything. And then, the second part of the video, we're going to talk about letting go. One of the biggest differences in Fallout 76 is that it's not Fallout 4 and we cannot save everything as much as we want to. I'm a hoarder myself. Um, it's going to be painful for me to let go of these things, but in the end, I believe the game is going to be a lot more fun if we don't have to constantly manage our stash. Um, I've called it an inventory management simulator up to this point, but really, we need to just learn to let go. So, we're going to dive in and see. I've did a lot of research, crunched a lot of numbers, looked at a lot of recipes, and I've got some suggestions on what you can keep, what you don't. If you don't agree, feel free to do whatever you want. But um, I think that if we can get past this, um, we're going to enjoy the game a lot more. So, the first question I always had, anytime I was crafting something, is this costing me weight or am I going back? And um, I've looked into it and I've found that some most crafting things actually reduce weight, but some don't. So, we're going to look at the chemistry station first and um, we're going to check uh, smelting. Smelting of course is taking the ore we find in the world and turning it into scrap. Um, I always wondered, you know, what weighs more, the scrap or the ore? Well, when you factor in the acid that's used, it turns out that every scrapping recipe um, is weight positive, meaning that you, you actually save weight by scrapping your ores with the exception of one, and that's lead. Because you get five lead from it, the lead actually weighs more, the uh, lead ore and the acid weigh 0.25, lead weighs 0.5, so you actually gain a quarter of a pound by making this recipe. However, due to the fact that you can bulk lead, it's one of the two resources that you can bulk, um, you actually end up breaking even as long as you bulk it afterwards. So the main thing to take away, if you're going to bulk your resources, go ahead and, uh, or if you're going to bulk your lead, uh, go ahead and scrap it. If not, save it until you need it. Um, steel is another one. Steel, you break even, um, so there's no loss. Um, although I find so much scrap steel, I don't really even pick up iron ore because, well, you don't really need it. Um, one of the best recipes in here is the fertilize, and, you know, you can scrap your spoil meat, fruit, vegetables to get fertilized. Um, it's very profitable. Um, it takes 10 of those, makes fertilize, which weighs 0.1. Um... The scrap, the spoiled meat weighs 0.7, so that's 7 pounds reduced to 0.1, the most profitable recipe in here. So always do that. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is gunpowder. Gunpowder actually costs you weight if you make this recipe. Um, you actually gain 0.35 pounds every time you craft this. So unless you need gunpowder, stay away from it. Um, only craft it as needed. Um, alright, so that does it for the chemistry bench, and now we're going to go to the tinker's workbench. So, one of the best things in the game you can do to reduce weight is to craft ammo. And, that's most ammo. There's a couple of recipes that you break even, a couple that are really bad that you should only craft if you need, but the majority of times you save a lot of weight by crafting ammo. Um, I've run the numbers, and... For most ammo, uh, just an example, 308, by the time you craft that, you actually save 1.5 pounds every time you craft this recipe. Um, I use a lot of 308 ammo because I like the sniper, um, so unless you find just copious amounts of it, you know, this one is definitely safe to craft. Ammo is really light, so it's feel free to craft away as you need it. Um, most of the ballistic is, uh, ammo is really good. It saves an average of one pound. The best crafting recipes are uh, the 50 caliber round and the five millimeter round if you like the minigun. 
Both of these recipes um, drop over three pounds of weight. This one is 3.3 and this one is 3.1. Three pounds is pretty significant. So if you have a 50 caliber gun or a mini gun, like, you know, lighten stuff up, then absolutely go ahead and craft these to your heart's content because you're saving a lot of weight if you have the resources. Um, certain things don't save uh, very much. The flare saves 0.2. Um, certain recipes are a loss. Um, for example, cannonball. You actually gain one pound every time you craft this recipe. So if you're lucky enough to find a broadsider, you're going to want to hold off on crafting these until you absolutely need them. Do not stockpile these because you gain a lot of weight by crafting them. Uh, the harpoon is another one. You actually gain a tiny amount of weight. It's 0.1. And the crossbow, you actually break even. So you're not really going to benefit that much from these. Um, but all the other recipes are good. The 50 caliber ball ammo, you only save a quarter of a pound. Uh, the, all the other ammos, you save at least between 1 to 1.5 pounds by crafting these. So, again, rather than hoard, you know, your lead and uh, gunpowder and steel, you know, go ahead and craft the ammo you need. Uh, another recipe that's actually very profitable is this paddle ball string. It uses cloth and rubber, which I have always have too much of. Um, I don't know how good it is. I haven't found the gun or the paddle or whatever it is that uses it. Um, but you save a pound every time you craft, craft this recipe. So if you found a paddle and, you know... Yeah, feel free to craft that as much as you want. But, of course, only if you need it because, you know, you can sell bulk resources. You can't sell ammo. Um, if we look at energy ammo, um, most of the ener energy ammo is profitable uh, to craft. Uh, you save anywhere between 1.2 to 1.4 pounds. All these numbers, I'm not running over each one. I'm going to attach a Google document. The links will be in the description. Um, you can look at all the numbers that I've, uh, all the numbers that I've run. I'm not going to give them all in the video. That would take too long. I'm just going to hit the highlights. Uh, the two millimeter, uh, EMC, I think that's used by the Gauss rifle. Um, that actually gains a quarter pound. So that's one you want to craft as needed. The rest of these are, uh, weight saving. So they're okay to craft. Um, explosive ammo. This is the biggest offender right here. Only craft missiles as needed for every missile you craft. Missiles are very heavy. They weigh uh, two pounds each. You get three of them. Uh, you gain 4.7 pounds each time you craft this recipe. So again, only craft those as you need them. It's also very easy to have quite a few of those in your stash. So if you're not using them, you can sell them. Well, you can't sell them, but you can maybe sell them to other players. Or find a missile launcher and use it. It's actually pretty fun. Um, the next thing, uh, grenades. Uh, these grenades, they all save weight, but it's all a tiny amount. Uh, point one, I usually find more than I use, so, you know, if you want to craft those, go ahead, but you're not going to save a tremendous amount of weight. Uh, fragmentation mine, uh, you do save point two as well. So, um, these are things you can do to actually save weight. You're actually taking heavy resources and turning them into something light. Um, as far as crafting, that's about all I've seen, things that you, you know, might want to craft. So, um, I've saved a lot of weight by doing that. Um, and I still have some work to do there, but for the second part of the video, we're going to talk about letting go. So this, this is going to be the difficult part, um, but I mean, we've already determined we cannot hold on to this stuff. If you look at my stash, I've scrapped a lot of high-end weapons. You know, what we need to start doing is we need to start treating the stash as a place to store weapons that we aren't using. Like, you know... I can't always carry around, you know, a missile launcher and, you know, something that shoots 45 ammo, something that shoots 50 caliber ammo. You know, we all have our set guns that we use. Um, you know, I love the combat shotgun. Um, you know, I've got a sniper rifle. Those are the ones that I mainly use. But what I've found is that some of the other guns are actually really fun. I got this perfect storm, which looked pretty terrible, but I had a bunch of 10 millimeter ammo, equipped it. It's actually pretty good. It's really fast, sets things on fire. I guess the, the moral of that story is just if you know play around with a weapon if you hate it you know toss it or scrap it if not you know go ahead and you know use up some of your ammo um you know i've used up all my 38 ammo um on an automatic weapon and it's actually been very effective so um hoarding high level weapons that you can't use i've gotten some very nice weapons 
Um, I, had, I threw, I scrapped actually a level 45 vicious Gatling laser that really hurt. But with the leveling, it's going to be a while before I can use that. I got it on the second day of the beta. You know, it's, it was 25 pounds. You just can't hold on to that stuff as much as we want to. So until they fix it, you're going to have a lot more fun. If you just keep the weapons that you use, I'm able to use this weapon. It's something I will use as I get missiles. You know, let go of the other stuff. Armor. I will give you a tip on armor. Something that can save a lot of weight. I was saving individual power armor pieces. However, those take up weight in your stash, just like everything else. Um, power armor chassis always takes up 10 pounds. Um, a lot of people will strip their armor off of it before they let it go in their inventory. But if you leave your power armor and fusion core in your power armor and let it recall to your inventory, it still weighs 10 pounds. So if you have a set of each type of armor, you know, T45, uh, T51, T60, you know, you want to keep, you can keep three of these for 30 pounds and keep all the armor that you need. So don't store those pieces individually. Always store those on a frame. That's something that you can do. Um, but, you know, we should be using the stash for things like, you know, outfits that we want to save. They're all really light. Uh, they all weigh point 0.1. Um, another place that we have to be very careful with is aid. Uh, aid is pretty heavy in this game and it can add up. Uh, you know, uh, you know, 25 rad X. Well, we don't think about that. That's six pounds of weight. That's a lot of weight. So, you know, after you get so many, aid is, it depends on your play style, your perks. I'm not going to try to make suggestions on that, but just really look at this, really think, okay, do I need 25 Rad, Rad X or diluted Rad X? Yes, I do use it, but, you know, sell some of it or let it go or trade it to other players or give it to people, you know, just, but, you know, it, if we deal with our junk, you can, you know, you'll have enough space to store the aid that you need, you know, without, you know, without weighting yourself down. Now, another thing that can add up very quickly is gunpowder. Gunpowder is in the miscellaneous tab. Some people don't realize that, so anytime you transfer your junk, always take a quick look at miscellaneous and always, you know, send your gunpowder over. Most items in your miscellaneous tab have no weight. So it's very easy to just say, oh, well, there's nothing I need to check in there. Uh, Gunpowder is a big one. Also, bobby pins. Believe it or not, bobby pins weigh 0.1. And the 14 that I have in my inventory, that's 1.4 pounds. So if you've got 100 of those things, that's 10 pounds. There's not that many locks in this game. So, you know, if you have 20 or 30, you're probably good. I don't break them that often. If you're careful, you know, you won't. So, you know, trim that down. You can save a few pounds there. Um, Hull tapes have no weight. Another thing that has weight that people may not realize, most of your notes, of course, as you can see, have no weight, but plans. Plans actually weigh a quarter of a pound, and so do recipes. I don't have any recipes in my inventory, but they weigh the same. So, you know, any plan that you can learn, absolutely learn it. Um, if you have one that you already have, uh, some of the plans are valuable. You know, you can sell those or trade them to people, you know, or give them to people, whatever you want. Uh, but don't, you know, once you've learned them all, there's no real reason to hold on to them. So that can get, you know, at least get rid of the little things. And um, like I say, there's no reason that you have no reason to hold on to. Mods, I don't have any, but every mod, regardless of what it is, weighs one pound. Um, a lot of the mods you find, they're not very useful. They might sound nice, but uh, if you're not ever going to use that weapon, you know, scrap it, get rid of it, you know, do whatever. So you see, I don't have a lot in my stash. The majority of my weight is in junk and ammo. Uh, fusion cores are another big one. Fusion cores weigh three pounds each. Um, so, you know, I've got, you know, if you've got a lot that have 20, 10 or 20, you might want to consider just getting rid of those. You can actually sell them. It doesn't decrease the sell price. They all sell for 162. So if you've, you know, got a bunch of that are almost depleted or you find some that have 25%, just sell them. Unless you use power armor all the time. Um, I don't use it that much because I don't have a armor set that I like. You know just get rid of them um, save the higher level ones and go on again missiles missiles are very heavy the majority of the ammo is actually really light um, you know a thousand rounds of a, most ammo is only a couple pounds so that's not you know I hate to throw away ammo but junk junk is the big offender and this is where we have where we have to just get rid of things instead of holding on. Now, there are a lot of things, obviously, that you never want to get rid of. And that's what we're going to talk about. What I've done is I've put together um, a list of, you know, just general values of 
you know, quantities that you should keep and things that you shouldn't get rid of. Again, everything from here on out, everything we've just talked about is pretty much fact, but everything from here on out is my opinion. So if it doesn't suit your play style, do your own thing. But, you know, I've seen a lot of people talk and say, well, you need to let go of stuff, but nobody's actually said, well, you should probably keep this much or that much. So I looked at all the crafting recipes, which I don't have them all available, but for the ones that I have, um, and looking at what, you know, how much you need, uh, you know, how much, you know, the types of play style, it will vary with your play style, but these are just general guidelines you can go by and you're going to see, we're going to save quite a bit of weight and we're going to look at, you know, one of the things that surprised me was how much or how quickly the weight built up. And I asked myself one of the reasons, you know, why is it so much worse than Fallout 4? Well, here in Fallout 4, if you want to scrap your junk, you have to drop it all on the floor, uh, go in the workshop and scrap it. Well, here, all we do is we walk up to a workstation, uh, we press T to scrap all of our junk, and then we walk up to our stash and we press T to store it all. We don't even think about it. Well, and another reason, you know, that we're able to carry more junk, we have weight reduction perks here for junk, and these workbenches are everywhere. So, I don't know about you, but if I see crap laying around that I really don't need, but there's a workstation, I will grab it all and scrap it. That's just the way I am. Um, and that tends to, you know, build up a lot of things we don't need. You know, you don't need a thousand steel, and you might think, well, how much does a thousand steel weigh? It's sort of misleading, because if you look at it, you know, if you look at steel scrap, oh, you know, steel scrap only weighs 0 .05. That's really light. Okay, but for every 20 steel you have, that's a pound. Well, if you have a thousand steel, that's 50 pounds. That's an eighth of your stash. It's not worth it. You know, at first I thought, well, I'll build my base out of steel, and then you find out when you go to build, you only have initially have plans for wood structures. So when you start out, you know, wood's very important. You know, if you can build your base out of steel, fine. But I found that I used about 150 uh, to 200 uh, material to build this base. You know, it's three levels. Um, you really just don't need as much as you think that you're going to. Um, if you haven't, go, you know, built your base yet, go ahead and do it. Um, you'll find out, you know, that, hey, I really don't need as much as I thought. And, you know, obviously, if you're going to do any crafting, I recommend you do that before purging your junk um, because these numbers aren't based on, you know, the fact that, you know, I'm going to be building a base so go ahead and get that out of the way before you do this. Um, so the first thing we're going to look at are items that you always want to keep. Um, aluminum is definitely something you should always keep. Um, you have to repair your weapons. Most You're going to need it to repair most of your weapons. You're going to need it for your weapon mods. You need it for some crafting things. Aluminum is very valuable. You should never get rid of it. Uh, black titanium, I'm sure there's some sort of cap at the end of the game. It's not very common. Uh, you get it as ore and some items you scrap have it. It's used for a lot of high-end weapon mods. It's something, you know, I've got 38. I'm definitely going to hold on to it. Bone shards are something that I have found no recipe so far that use them. And I'm sure there are, probably some kind of weapon. But they add up quickly. I have 146 bone shards. Um, and, you know, they weigh, it's 20 per pound. So that's 7 pounds of bone. I've never used bone once. And it's one of those things that's freely available. If you need bone, go kill a super mutant. They've always got some sort of bone, you know, femur or skull or something on them. So, I recommend keeping 10 to 20 of these um, in your stash. And after that, you really don't, you know, you're not benefiting yourself. So, uh, we're going to get rid of, let me see. Yep, we're going to get rid of that. We're gonna keep 20. Um, I'm not going to do this for every resource. I'm just going to do this for the biggest defenders to show how much space you can save. There we just saved six pounds. Uh, that was one resource. So we're going to hold on to 20 of those. Uh, cloth is a huge offender. You get cloth for a lot of things you scrap. Um, unless you're making a ton of gunpowder and you have a ton of lead to craft it with. Um, cloth is something you really don't use that much. Um, I have, that's bulk cloth, so that's 600. And if you factor that in with the raw cloth that I have, let's see... Oops, was it okay? 322, that's 900 cloth. Um, 900 cloth weighs 45 pounds. That's 45 pounds of my stash that is just absolutely wasted. So I'm going to take this bulk cloth and sell it. Um, so I'm going to take all that out, and you'll see I just dropped 30 pounds out of my stash, just like that. Um, the rest of the cloth, um, I recommend, 
you know, it's, I guess it's a building material. You know, keep 60 to 80. So, uh, we're going to get rid of, let's see, that would be, what, 260. And so, we're going to get rid of that. And you'll see that is a significant weight savings. Oh, come on. I wish you could just enter numbers in this game. Yeah, and we've saved. We're down to 348. So, that's 50 pounds. Two resources so far are 50 pounds. I've got 60 cloth. That's more than enough. Um, and you get it everywhere. So if you need more, you know, go scrap a few outfits and, and you're good to go. Um, let me see here. Leather. Leather is another big one. You know, you think in your mind, well, leather is something I need for armor and all that stuff. Well, you do. But you craft your armor once most of the time or you upgrade it once. The quantities you need are actually very low. So I've got 303 leather, 15 pounds. That's 15 pounds away to my stash. I don't need that. So, um, for leather, you know, I recommend keeping, depending on your play style, again, 60 to 80. Um, so, we're going to get rid of that. We'll go down. We'll keep 60 because leather's everywhere. Every time you kill a rad stag or anything like that, uh, you're going to get leather. So, we're going to say 240. And we'll keep about 62. We're down to 336 already. Um, something else. Uh, that tends to build up, and I don't know if I've made that in the bulk or not. Yes, glass. Uh, you find glass everywhere. It's used in very few things. It's used for light bulbs, you know, things like that. Uh, this is another really big offender. Um, I would say on glass, you know, keep 30 to 50. Um, and if you look at glass shards, we have 148. So, you know, we'll keep, you know, we'll keep 50 of those. Uh, 50 glass, you would be hard-pressed to use 50 glass, and also I'm going to take this bulk glass and sell it. Um, and let's see, so, so far, we've taken three, let's see, wait, four, four resources, and we've already saved 80 pounds. That is several weapons, several pieces of armor, um, just for things that I'm never going to use. Uh, rubber is another one that tends to build up. Um, I've made bulk rubber here. Um, let's see, what is rubber called? called oh, it's just called raw rubber okay so i've got 70 raw rubber i recommend keeping 60 to 80 so we'll just get rid of this bulk rubber since i've already bolted up i'm going to sell it um okay there's another 10 pounds um steel steel is one of those things that you think oh gosh i'm going to need so much steel um when i started i've already got rid of a lot of my steel i don't think i have any bulk left no i've gotten rid of that um but uh, steel, if you if you don't unless you're crafting a lot of ammo or you're building your base out of metal, you don't need that much steel. More than other resources, I would recommend keeping somewhere between 150 to 200 steel. Uh, more if you're going to craft ammo. Uh, but I've already crafted most of the ammo I'm going to do. Uh, so you know we're going to get rid of. Uh, uh, I'll just keep 200. And. Uh, that's a pretty decent, oops, quantity, okay, I hate the slaughter, we're just going to do this, alright, good, so, let's see, what else, antiseptic, I have 108 antiseptic, and if you look at your recipes, you'll find that maybe, I found three recipes that use it, and they all use one, and they all use components that are hard to get, I couldn't use 108 antiseptic if I wanted to, and since it weighs 0.1, that's almost 11 pounds of antiseptic sitting there, that you know i'll never use again this is based on your play style if you make a lot of things that have antiseptic keep a little more uh i'm going to keep 10 to 20 because you know that's just I, I won't use any more than that we'll keep 15 um or 16 and all right we're already down to 300 that's a hundred pounds of weight that we've saved just from a few things um wood uh wood is something you'll use a lot if you're building uh i recommend keeping you know 150 to 200 of that um, you know, waste oil, um, that's another one I noticed that was taking up a lot of weight. It weighs 0.1, that's 17 pounds of oil. Now, waste oil is a crafting, you, you know, you use it for making weapon upgrades, and you also use it for making certain things, I think, like generators. But again, unless you're constantly moving your cap at camp and scrapping it, you're not going to use that much oil. You only upgrade your weapon so much because of other valuable resources like, you know, aluminum or adhesive that you don't have. So it's not something you need as much of as you get. There's oil canisters everywhere if you do need it. Uh, I'm going to say 40 to 60 on oil. 
Um, so let's see, we'll just go down to one. That'll be 50. Okay, that was 13 pounds of oil we just got rid of. Um, let's see, I think that's got most of the, oh, there's one more, uh, gear. Uh, for some reason I have a lot of gears, loose gears. Um, they weigh 0.1, so I have 110, that's 11 pounds of gears. Uh, gears are used to craft some weapons, but not as many. Uh, weapons are mainly screws and springs. Um, gears are used to craft like generators and electrical components and things like that. Um, if you're going to craft those things, maybe keep a few more. But again, you know, that amount is excessive. Um, I want to say for gears, you probably keep, you know, 40 to 60. So, you know, we're going to keep 50 here. Uh, let's see. All right, there we go. Um, most of the biggest offenders are usually your building materials. Uh, circuits, circuits are another one. Um, I don't tend to get that many. I've got 55. I recommend 40 to 60 on those. Um, they're used in a lot of energy weapons. Uh, so you want to keep that. Uh, copper, you want to pretty much keep all of that. Uh, copper is used in a lot of crafting recipes. And you don't really get that much of it in the game. Uh, so it's not something that should build up. Uh, let's see, waste acid. For some reason, I have a lot of that. If you've seen one of my other videos, you might know why. Um, you know, I'm going to hold on to it for now. But honestly, you really don't need that much acid unless you're going to craft gunpowder. Um, and right now, it's very easy to get. Uh, so for acid, you know, I would recommend, you know, maybe, again, 40 to 60. Um, but I'm going to post all these numbers in... Uh, the description um i'm going to post the things i think you should keep uh those are the biggest items right there i think probably if most people purge these items you could probably save as much weight as i have um i've pretty much just looted everything i could find and those were the things that tended to build up but i'm going to continue to go through and purge mine out um and you know hopefully get down to around 200 pounds but just in that brief time just getting rid of a few things that i'm never going to use um we have saved 120 pounds in the stash so i hope this helped you guys out uh if it did uh give it a like and subscribe and um i'm gonna keep the videos coming so uh, until next time peace